Hello students, welcome back to Rise of Talent. I am your maths teacher Arpita Sharma and we are studying this chapter number system. Okay, so should we write the name of chapter here? Okay, so this is our chapter and what we have gone through? the numbers and the uh, real num in particular real numbers we have gone through the rationals and irrationals and plotting that on number line and we have studied some specific formulas of rational and irrational number calculations and then uh, their operations. Then uh, we got something in between like representation uh, of uh, irrational number on number line geometrically. Okay. Then after then uh, we have uh, something some questions based on the identities of irrational numbers. I have talked about it earlier in our previous uh, previous to previous lecture and then we got that uh, geometrical representation. Okay, so, uh, now we will deal with the questions based on the identities. Here simplify the following expression. Now the very first expression is this. Now, can you identify the student which identity it is? Let us suppose, let us suppose this 5 is equals to 5 is equals to a and root 7 equals to b. Okay. Now, this is what? This is new number 2. So, 2 will be c and this root 5 will be d. We were uh, having only one identity similar to that, that was a plus b and c plus d. Okay. What was the uh, what was the identity? We have we are going here to multiply this by this, this by this, then this by this and this by this. So, that was in the root uh, in the root format that will be root a root b root c and root d. But in this particular situation I am having b b as root b and d. So, these two numbers are what irrational, but these two numbers are rational, but we can go through the simple formula of a plus b and c plus d here that will be a c plus a d plus b c plus b d. This is the simple formula for this. Okay. So, applying this formula and putting all the values here that will be 5 plus root 7 multiplied by 2 plus root 5 that will be going to equals to 5 multiplied by 2 plus 5 multiplied by root 5 plus 2 multiplied by root 7 plus root 7 multiplied by root 5. Now, look carefully here students 5 multiplied by 2 is simply 10. Okay. Then 5 multiplied by root 5 is what? 5 multiplied by root 5 is simply 5 root 5 okay. plus 2 root 7. Okay. Now, I am having this kind of situation where I am having root a and root b. Now, root a root b is equals to what? Root a root b is equals to root of a b. We have learned that identity also in our previous lecture. Okay, so, we will be writing it simply root 5, uh, 5 multiplied by 7 or 7 multiplied by uh, 5 that will be 10 plus 5 root 5 plus 2 root 7 plus root of 35. Okay. Now, that will be our answer. This is our answer for this. Okay. So, note this students, then we will do the next question. Right? So, this is basically for 5 plus root 7, 2 plus root 5. 
this is the question and this is the solution part ok. Now, for the next one, the question is here 5 plus root 5, look at here question is 5 plus root 5 bracket and multiplying by 5 minus root 5. Now, this is a plus root b and a minus root b format, is not it? a plus root b a minus root b. In this particular situation what we do? We just simply write a square minus b, a square minus b, we do this, we have learn this identity, this is the identity right. So, by this identity by above identity what will we see that 5 plus root 5 5 minus root 5 will be equals to a square. Now, a square is 5 square minus b square, b is again uh, sorry minus b. Now, b is again 5 here. So, that will be minus of 5 only. So, that will be 25 minus 5 and 25 minus 5 is what? 20 and this is our answer. That means, simply 5 plus root 5 and 5 minus root 5 is equals to nothing but 20. Yes or no? So, we have used this identity of a plus root b a minus root b. Okay. In this case, we are having a equals to 5 here also and b equals to 5 here also, but in some case that may be the uh, situation that uh, it will it can be 7 plus root 5 and 7 minus root 5. In this situation we are having a different and b different we can apply the same formula I will be having uh, 7 square minus uh, 5 ok 7 square because that will be 7 here a will be 7 here. So, 7 square minus 5 7 square is 49 minus 5 will get the answer as 44 ok. So, this is the answer for this particular question note this student so that we can move forward to the next question ok. Now, next question is this root 3 plus root 7 square. So, the question is root 3 plus root 7 whole square. Now, you have to solve this ok. So, we will be having this solution part here. We are having we are having this a equals to 3 and b equals to 7. If a equals to I let to um, I sub let suppose a equals to 3 and b equals to 7 that means the formula is what? That means the formula is root a plus root b whole square and what was the formula of root a square root a plus root b square back then that was a plus 2 root a b plus b. This was the formula back then remembering. So, what you have to do is just putting the value put the values putting the values of a and b in identities 
what we will get? Root 3 plus root 7 square whole square will be equals to a that means 3 plus plus here b that is 7 2 root of a b a is 3 and b is 7 right. So, that will be 7 plus 3 10 plus 2 of root 21 or else you can write 2 if I am taking 2 as common that will be 5 plus root 21. So, root 3 plus root 7 will be nothing but 2 multiplied by 5 plus root 21 and that will be your answer. Okay. So, this is your answer we are using just first uh, just one of the identities we have studied in our previous class. Okay. Now, next question what is the next question that is 11 root 11 plus root 7 root 11 minus root 7. Okay. So, I am just writing the question here root 11 plus root 7 then whole multiplied by root 11 minus root 7. This is the question. Now, student what identity I am talking about here is the solution part. Let us suppose this 11 is A and 7 is B. Now, I am putting this value in the uh, this uh, given question that will be root A plus root B whole multiplied by root A minus root B okay. and the formula was of what? A minus B it was right A minus B simply A minus B. So, this was the formula So, just by putting values in the formula or identity these are not the basic formulas, but the identities what we will get that root 11 now see how simple it is root 11 plus root 7 multiplied by root 11 minus root 7 that will be equal to nothing but a minus b now value of a is 11 value of b is 7 that will be 4 this implies that the value is what 4 this is your answer so simple answer of so, so complex question and that is too easy right ok so right So, these are two remaining examples in these examples what we have uh, we have, what we have done we have used our identities that we have learnt in previous session in this particular in these particular questions ok. So, note this and then we will move forward to the next topic ok and that will be something I have talked about in our previous session I have told you that denominator you should try to have your denominator without any irrational number ok if it is possible if it is possible it is not always necessary, but it will be more convenient. So, how will you do that because it is not like that you will be having only one uh, irrational number uh, like root 2 root 7 sometimes you may you may have root 7 plus root 2 or something like that in addition or multiplication or dividition or something like that. In that condition what will you do? Let us find out rationalization what is the process rationalization of denominator what is the meaning of rationalizing, uh, uh, rationalization of denominator that means the denominator that have to be a rational number a rational number 
that doesn't mean that the number should be uh, should be rational to okay you you may have your numerator as irrational but you have to try for your denominator to be at least rational okay so this is the rationalization of denominator how will you do that that's a simple uh, that's a very simple phenomena how will you do that so moving towards an example that is 1 by root 2 now the example is 1 by root 2 okay so basically the question is rationalize one by root two. How will you rationalize one by root two? It is simple. You will be using two concepts here. Concept one that will be root two equal uh, multiply by root two is equals to two. That means the square root of two irrational number two same irrational number identical irrational number is going to be a rational number that means root a multiply by root a will always be going to a which is uh, absolutely rational now we are going to use this first uh, first concept and we are going to combine this concept with the concept number two that means root two root two will be equals to one now, I am talking about this particular question. So, for generalizing it, what will I do? Okay, I do not have to remove the 1 from here. That will be if I multiply root a with root a that will become a. Okay. If I divide and uh, if I uh, divide root a by root a that will give me 1. Now, the solution is I am having this 1 by root 2 multiply by 1 is ok 1 by root 2 ok. Now, 1 can be written as root 2 by root 2 root 2 by root 2 by this process that uh, root a by root a will be equals to 1 ok root 2 by root 2 will be equals to 1 simple. Now, that 1 multiply by root 2 will be equals to root 2 simply. Now, root 2 multiply by root 2 root a multiply by root a simply a. So, that will be 2. Now, why it is so uh, uh, like uh, we uh, why we want to uh, put it in this form because if I will ask you then where this root 2 by 2 will lie on the number line you will simply tell me if this is the number line ma'am then if this is 2 and we find out this is to be root 2 somewhere. Okay, then this will be half of that. Understood? If I will go, uh, going to ask you uh, the same question by 1 by root 2, how will you represent in the number line? You are not that sure about that. Okay. So, in that case, you can just confirm the uh, position of the number line exactly, but in that case, you cannot. So, this is the uh, this is one of the reason why we want to rationalize the denominator. Okay, it is convenient for us. So, note it and we will move forward. Note it. This is about only having uh, one rational number and not combination or addition or subtraction or something like that in the denominator. But what if we having? If you are having such kind of denominator which is not as simple as this root 2, but having something more in that, okay. 1 upon 2 plus root 3. Now, this is something we have uh, read our identities for. Okay. How? Okay. Let us start solving this question. Question is uh, rationalize one upon 2 plus root 3. This is your question, right? This is your question now. If I talk about the solution, I know that 1 plus root b, 1 plus root b, 1 minus root b, sorry a plus root b and a minus root b will be uh, will be giving me a square minus b. Now, a square is rational and b is rational that means a square minus b 2 rational 
and I am having the subtraction of them will always give me a rational number. This is rational, this is rational. So, whatever comes here will be rational too, right. So, that will be rational too. So, for that what will I do? I simply, I simply just do it in that form in the denominator only what that I have this exact thing here also that a plus root b upon a minus root sorry a plus root b that will be equals to 1 also the same the same concept ok the same two concept I used in the first one I am using here but then different uh, different method I am using identities too now that will be 1 plus uh, 1 upon 2 plus root 3. Now, what will I multiply and divide it 2 as it is 3 uh, root 3 as it is. I am just going to change the sign between a and b and a and b. So, here it was plus. So, here it will be minus. Now, the format is in the denominator if you are saying uh, if you are uh, uh, seeing that will be a plus root b and a minus root b the exact format I was talking about here. Okay, so, we can use the identities. Now, if you have multiplied, uh, if you have divided with uh, 2 minus root 3, so to balance the equation, I have to multiply with it again. So, that that will be okay, that is equals to also a plus sorry, a minus root b, a minus root b. Now, if you have this plus in your denominator that question to be solved, we are having this plus, then you will use minus. Now, if you are having minus here, you will having plus here, just because to meet the identities, ok, nothing else. Now, 1 multiply by 2 root 3 is equals to 2 minus root 3 simply. Then, in denominator, a plus root b, a minus root b will be simply equals to a square minus b and b is 3, right. So, that will be 2 minus root 3 divided by 4 minus 3 and that will be equals to that will be equals to 1 upon 2 plus root 3 that we were talking about is will be equals to 1 minus root 3, simply 4 minus 3 uh, equals to 1. So, that will be our what? That is our answer understood. So, note this it good. So, we are having this next question 5 upon root 3 minus root 5 is equals to what? Now, now you will use your minds ok and I know you are having one. So, you will your you will use your brains to tell me that what will be the solution of this question because I have told you just to use identities in these last 6 to 7 questions and now you should be very familiar to that ok. So, 5 divided by root 3 minus root 5. Now, anyone from you can tell me that ma'am it is root a minus root b and if I will be multiplying it by root a plus root b that is going to give me a minus b which is a rational number. So, that can be done in the denominator. This is the simply uh, the thing you are going to tell me. If you are not going to tell me, you need to study hard and listen to me very carefully. Okay. Now, this is given 5 upon root 3 minus root 5. Multiply and divide by root 3 plus root 5 okay this will be uh, this will be giving me this minus root 5 multiply by root 3 plus root 5 in the denominator root 3 plus root 5 in the numerator 
that will be 5 multiply by root 3 plus 5 again multiply by root 5. And in the denominator that will be a root a minus root b root a plus root b that is equals to here a minus b that will be a minus b. Now, I can take this 5 common and this 3 minus 5 is what minus 2. So, okay. Okay. Now, I be remaining with root 5 plus root 3 here. So, that will be what? Because this cannot be further solved. Okay. One thing is what? You can uh, write the value of this root 3 and you can write the value of this root 5 that is so tedious process we are not going to study that like uh, is, um, solve this question like that. So, we are having this operation here now root a plus root b is not uh, root a plus b, uh, root under root whole under root of a plus b no it is not. So, what we are going to do stop uh, stop here and that will be our answer. Okay. So, note this noted. Okay. Now, you are getting how we are going to use the identities here and these identities are very easy basically these identities are nothing, but the extension extended version of a plus b whole square a plus b a minus b a square minus b square kind of formula. So, this is all about that. Okay. Now, uh, laws of exponents for real numbers, laws of exponent for real numbers. In our um, previous classes like nine, uh, like in uh, 8th also you have studied about the exponent, we are having powers not that super power, but the powers okay, in the numbers that and they, uh, these powers are to be written as because these are not super powers, but still they are uh, written as the superscript here. If a, if a is uh, uh, is I what will uh, I say and uh, uh, natural number, okay? It's a natural number and it's a whole number because it can be also 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and uh, will not uh, be taking to zero to power something. So, that will be 1 to 3 to 5 to 7. So, let it be some number. Okay. This is the format. Now, what does that mean? In simple term, when I say a, uh, 5 square, what is the value of 5 square basically? You will tell me this is 25 mem. Okay. What is the value of this? You will say this is simply 2. What is the value of 2 square? You will say simply 4. 2 cube 8. How these values are coming? Because if it is 2, simply 2, that means it is having a power of 1. We do not use a uh, uh, you know, writing 1 like uh, 5 multiplied by 1 is equals to 5, but we do not uh, use this multiply by 1 because it is understood. Okay. So, we do not use this 1, but it is understandable that this is 2 raised to the power we call it like this 2 raised to power 1 and that is equals to 2. Now, 2 raised to power 2 which is called as 2 square okay. that is nothing but I am multiplying this 2 again and again how many times 2 times. So, 2 multiplied by 2 that is equal to 2 multiplied by 2 is 4. Now, if I am going to say 3 cube 3 raised to power sorry 2 cube. Okay. So, 2 cube. Now, what is 2 cube? 2 raised to power 3 is called as 2 cube. Okay. After that, uh, this is called square, this is called cube and after that we uh, generally said 2 raised to power 4, 2 raised to power 5, 6 raised to power. Okay. Raised to power. Now, that will be 2, we are going to multiply this value 2 that means the value a. How many times? m times. Okay. So, 2 multiplied by 2, 2 times 2 multiplied by 2 again, 3 times 2, that will be 2 to the 4, 2 to the 8, so that will be 8. This is a ba uh, basic pattern. Now, sometimes uh, what happens? You are given with a thing like 2 raised to power 3 multiplied by 2 raised to power 2. Now, 
basically the meaning of is what this is a multiplication sign now you will tell me i will multiply this 2 this 3 to 2 and that will be uh, that will make 6 so 2 h power 6 is the answer now is the actual thing that will work here basically 2 to the power 3 and 2 to the power 2 means 2 multiply by 2 multiply by 2 this is about 2 to the power 3 3 times i am going to multiply 2 okay and then multiply by 2 times 2 okay so now this is what 1 2 3 4 5 that means 5 times you are going to multiply 2 so that will be 2 raised to the power 2 raised to the power 5 okay now by this multiplication we have calculated it 6 but this has to be 2 raised to the power 5 so what will be 2 raised to the power 3 multiply by 2 raised to the power 2 that is simply 2 raised to the power 3 plus 2 now this is equals to 2 raised to the power 5 that means simply if I am having some number now this is a again a this is m and this is n that means if I am having a raised to the power m multiply by a raised to the power n that is going to be a raised to the power m plus n understood this is the basic concept now this is about 3 and 2 so that we can just uh, simply calculate it in this way but you are having something 1001 raised to the power 35 multiply by uh, 1001 raised to the power 72 in that case you are not going to calculate all this stuff in that uh, these are the number these are the number should we add them or multiply them what you have to do simply remember these identities we are having these four uh, particularly um, multiplying uh, uh, division uh, uh, dividing and you know bracket this 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 kind of format this is the first format this is the second format this is the third and this is the fourth in these four formats how will we apply the law of exponent we are going to study that only okay so you can just note it we will cover this particular uh, portion in our next lecture okay so students this is all for today okay in next lecture uh, we are going to study these particular properties and will do some questions based on it okay keep study take care enjoy life thank you